What's up everyone? We're going to talk today about checking your mixes in mono. This is important, so pay attention to this for a couple of minutes. If you don't check your mix in mono, then you can run into major problems down the road playing it on big systems. The bass in your track can effectively almost disappear. And the reason why this happens is because a lot of big sound systems are actually in mono. They're not in stereo like a lot of our home systems or headphones. They're done all in mono. So the left channel is exactly the same as the right channel. And you can run into issues with something called phase cancellation. Now phase cancellation, put simply, is basically picture yourself having two kick drums in a layer. And one kick drum starts with its sound wave going up and the other kick drum starts with its sound wave going down. Well, they cancel each other out because what they do is the amplitudes sum up and they net out to effectively zero. You can hear this most commonly if you're listening to like a house DJ play and he's mixing two tracks together and if he's rock solid on his mix and the two kick drums are hitting at the same time on a nightclub system, oftentimes you'll hear this kind of hollow character to the kick and that is phase cancellation, that's what's happening. So you don't want that to happen to your track because you can lose all the punch in your kick, you can lose your bass, so it's very important that you understand how your track is going to sound in a mono environment. Now it's one thing to understand that you should be doing this as a good production practice, it's another thing entirely to actually know how to do it. Thankfully, in Ableton Live, they make this very, very, very easy. So in Live, if you pop open a utility device from the audio effects menu and you drop that utility device onto your master out. On the device utility you have a parameter called width and width governs how wide or narrow the sound is and if you take that width all the way down to zero you are effectively mirroring the left and the right channel and creating a mono track. So when you reduce, reduce width to zero, you are getting mono. Now obviously don't leave that on there when you do your export, you're just using this to check and see how that changes the sound of your mix and if you have any phase cancellation problems. So slap that utility plugin on, crank the width down to zero, listen through your monitors again, hear how it sounds. If it sounds good and punchy, then you're great. If it doesn't, take the utility plugin off and go back and fix some stuff. But definitely as part of your production process, you should be checking your mixes in mono if you want them to sound and translate great onto larger systems. That's our tip for today. Talk to you soon. Cheers.